welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this video lecture I'll be talking about the difference between mitosis and meiosis type of cell division okay now before talking about both this type of cell division uh, we must know the basic thing about what is the major difference between both these types now first thing is that both this mitosis and meiosis are the type by which a cell is divided in and produce some offspring cells so there will be a mother cell and that cell will give a rise to some other daughter cells that is the basic thing about the cell division but in mitosis the, the, the process of cell division is different while in meiosis uh, the cell division is completely different the idea that I want to talk about though there are different properties and characteristics that we want to compare between mitosis and meiosis cell division but uh, there are many more I mean if you try to list there could be like 17 20 30 different types of differences but again we want to focus on the major types of properties and we will compare those properties between these two types of cell division in the mitosis type the actual idea is to generate identical cell from the mother cell so we have one mother cell that mother cell divide and produces two daughter cells and those daughter cells will be identical in nature while in meiosis uh, one cell produces four cells and the type of cells that they generated from the mother cell they have different features okay now the major difference if I want to tell you that you just tell me one major difference ab about the mitosis and meiosis cell division that would be why we require mitosis and why we require meiosis the idea of mitosis is to generate new body cells from one body cell we produce next other one so that our tissue start forming our organs start building up and our body start forming that is the idea of mitosis but the role of meiosis will be there is a daughter there is a mother cell that will produce some daughter cells which will ultimately convert themselves into germ cells from where they produce either sperm or egg cell now once they produce a sperm cell and egg cell those sperm and egg cell can fuse and they can produce a zygote that can ultimately lead to the generation of another offspring so from the perspective of living organisms both this type of cell divisions are extremely important we need both of them we need mitosis if we have any wound or if the normal cells to grow and divide to produce organs and structures but we also need meiosis cell division because we want to produce our germ cells we want to produce sperm cell and egg cells which will be required to produce new offspring okay new healthy offspring from that so the, the so this is the major thing between the mitosis and meiosis now another thing I want to talk about is the number of chromosomes that are present in the cell based on that we divide cells like two types diploid cells and haploid cells in diploid cells what we have if I draw here uh, in a diploid cell let me draw the nucleus inside there are twice number of chromosomes present compared to the haploid cell if I compare the haploid cell let's say this is the haploid one inside the haploid nucleus if there is n number of chromosomes this is the haploid in diploid there will be 2 into n number of chromosomes okay that is the idea now when you talk about mitosis we are talking that this diploid cell is a mother so mother cell is a diploid mother cell let me mother cell was diploid the offspring that they generate is also a diploid okay this is also diploid while in meiosis mother cell was diploid but the daughter cell is haploid that is a major difference now let's compare some other from the beginning if we talk about uh, the the type of how uh, they produce this new organisms I told you about like uh, the type of re reproduction method that we use for mitosis and meiosis in mitosis this is a kind of asexual reproduction because they don't involve in production of any of the gametes while in meiosis this is a sexual kind of reproduction where they involve in the production of male or female gametes in the organism's body now second thing it occurs in it occurs in you know in mitosis occurs in all organisms body if you compare with like like uh, eukaryotes prokaryotes and everything 
even in prokaryotes we call it binary fission or budding whatever the idea is but this is a type of mitosis because they produce identical daughters uh, identical means the mother and daughter cell will be identical that is the idea so it occurs in all organisms okay while meiosis so let me write it here otherwise it will be blank for so it is in the mitosis was asexual this is sexual kind in it occurs in all organisms the mitosis one but meiosis occurs in eukaryotes and among the eukaryotes occurs in animals plants in fungi some of the fungi you can also see that okay now crossing over this is another important feature of the cell division phase now this is known as when the genetic material is kind of start to bunch with each other like they start to pair with each other due to the event known as crossing over that means you know the idea for mitosis cell division is not to blend the information whatever information present inside the nucleus it should be present as it is into the daughter cell it will be transferred as it is into the daughter cell but in case of meiosis the idea is different as they are producing new germ cells the idea is to create variations to create variety and in those cases is start blending informations you know the the informations will be blended means there could be change or interchange of chromosomal segments during the meiosis process and this this change helps to generate variations in the next generations so that is known as the crossing over and crossing over is present in meiosis but it is not present in mitosis now the function if we talk about i already told about you the function the function for mitosis is to generate identical cells so that they can produce tissue healthy tissue they can produce organ and other stuff of your body the structural elements of your body while meiosis helps in the production of germ cells it helps in the production of gametes male as well as female gametes the number of divisions and number of cells in this process in mitosis there is only one round of cell cycle one round of division from the mother cell to the daughter cell one division it produces the daughter cell and from one cell it produces two this is the mother two daughter cells will be produced from one mother cell and they all look like their mother cell while in meiosis there are two cell division processes occur meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 okay meiosis 1 is the phase where this crossing over take place which is kind of kind of unique in case of meiosis cell division but meiosis 2 is just like the mitosis type of cell division okay so two division and we produce two types of cell division occurs and it produces four haploid cells okay this is the idea of meiosis and finally the number of chromosome uh, that will be involved that i told you in case of mitosis the mother cell contain 2n number daughters also contain 2n number but in case of meiosis mother contains 2n number 2n number daughter contains n number of chromosome containing cells because we need this as a gamete now for example say this is very very important otherwise the idea of reproduction will be like there will be say sperm and egg because both of them should fuse as fertilization event take place and they will produce a zygote and that zygote will carry 2n number of chromosomes inside and that zygote will produce an organism right so if they itself produces 2n number of cells they cannot maintain this number in the offsprings so the only way to maintain 2n number of chromosomes in the body cells of offspring is to generate n number of cells as gametes that is done in meiosis so this in a sense 
uh, are the major differences between mitosis and meiosis. Now, if I want to just talk about more differences, and if you want to put it and write write up so many differences, there are so many more, like different name of the stages of mitosis and meiosis, okay, and how the cytokinesis take place, and when the cytokinesis take place in mitosis and meiosis, when the uh, centriole divides in mitosis and meiosis, so many things. But this is the major thing I think. Uh, which help you to understand about this concept much more okay so that in a sense is the difference between mitosis cell division and meiosis cell division my meiosis cell division will add some variety so that it helps in evolution in a direct role but mitosis don't have a direct role in the evolutionary pathway there but it also helps in other processes like wound healing and stuff which meiosis cannot do so that in a sense is the difference between mitosis and meiosis i hope this video helps you if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and definitely share this video with your friends thank you